For me, when I wasn't in a relationship, you know, I used to go, oh, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. Yeah, I don't have time for a relationship. And then you realise that you're just making excuses because you haven't found the right person. Mm. And so I appreciate, I mean, Angela's a lady of a certain age, you know, and yes. maybe she might just want a nice companion, you know, in life. My um, my dad, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really chuffed Are you trying to uh, match her up with your dad? <laughs> Quite nice. Oh, yeah, Ripping and Riley. Sounds <laughs> 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 like a bread shop. <laughs> 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 yeah, my, my mum's been passed now four years and, um, you know, when is the right time to, to, to have romance and find romance? And um, my dad told me at the end of May, he said, well, I've met somebody, you know, and I was like, Bruh! at first, mm -hmm. you know, because no one can replace my mum. But he yeah. didn't want anyone to replace my mum. And I realised, you know, that he has a right to be happy. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it has been four years since I lost my mum. And also... He needs that companionship because I'm not, I'm not back home at all. I'm always in London now. So, my, you know, my brother's got his family with the boys and, and I think he has a right to have a companionship. You know, I'm not saying he's going to be like, you know, Kim Cottrell, a sex fiend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but just the fact that he can go out for dinner, you know, and, and maybe the cinema. Is he, do you see him being romantic then? Was yeah, it was really weird. The, the other day we were out for dinner and something he never did with Mum, he had the menu and he was going, so, um, would, you like the, would you like the mussels? Would you like this? Would you like this? <laughs> and I was like, he never did that with my mum. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, um, you know, but it's nice to see them grow, and it must be hard for her as so well. So do you get that kick of, like, oh, I don't really want you to be with anyone because you're with my mum, but then... Mm, I did it first, I did it first, but now I am genuinely over you're the You're seeing the happiness now, Yeah, because it is, and yeah. she's making him really happy. Yeah. So then when I phone home, and I, well, Sam was never there, when I phone home and I go, oh, Mum, um, oh, just stop throwing slip. Oh, what? Dad, how are you doing, how are you doing? You know, and he's like, I'm having a really lovely time, taking it slowly, mm. you know, there's not going to be a ring on the finger or anything. And, yeah, he probably would have said that he'd had his mm, one love, wouldn't he? He yeah. probably would have said, that's me. Yeah, yeah. and my mum was very big shoes to fill, you know, yeah. so... Yeah. 